Thank you for tuning in to Ray Screws. I hope you're doing well. Here we have a 2017 K case assortment of Hot Wheels basic cars. These are from uh, 2017. I'm not sure when you're watching this video. Let's see what we have. Now this is a sample of a mix of the 2017 K case assortment from Mattel. You could have some variations depending on the different mixed lots. Uh, you know what, I forgot, <laughs> I forgot to double check what the uh, treasure hunts are gonna be. Oh well, I'm sure you'll tell me. Thank you very much. Hey, we got a new color for the Batmobile, the Batman v Superman Batmobile. This one's in a silver or pewter type color. I like it, it looks good, pretty good track car. Here you have Dogzilla in light blue. Here's Blast Lane. Hey, Blast Lane's back. I haven't seen Blast Lane in a long time. And it's not one of my more favorite models as far as uh, uh, motorcycles go. But mm, it's nice to get another color back in the mix. Been quite some time, actually. Nice job with the decorations. Got a metallic look to it. Let's see, what else do we have here? This was uh, last month. You have the... Uh oh We got a little bit of slippage in the uh, plastic. That is the Chrysler 300C. As a matter of fact, well, you know what? Anyways, I thought I seen this one. This isn't a super, is it? In another mix? Hmm, I thought I seen one in a darker color. If I did, I left one on the pegs. Oh well. Perfect speed, rocket box. Perfect speed, I should say. And rocket box. In the art car series, there's your letter T. Oh, okay, now I know what the super is. If you're gonna find this one in a dark blue, I think this is the super for the uh, 2017 K case. Look for this model in dark blue. Rubber tires, cruise bruiser. Here you have the custom 56 Ford truck with regular five spoke wheels and the 68 El Camino. That's interesting. I thought they released this truck with these wheels before. It looks better with uh, these those wheels. But I, I like the five spokes. I know some people don't like the five spokes. I like the five spokes myself. And you have the Morris Mini in light blue. Snow soap loud. One of those soap loud. Crate racer. Another Rogue Hog for the Super Chrome series. Nice, shiny chrome. Another So Plowed. And there is Voltage Spike. Speed Slayer. Another Super Chrome. Nice and shiny. Blast Lane again. And Chrysler 300C. Just has a black stripe. Oh, actually, it does have a taillight decorations. Very nice. Brake lights. Got a Hot Wheels logo. They even put some silver on the logo for the Chrysler logo. Looking good. An old uh, blast from the past. The bat, thanks for thanks for pointing out. My last case unboxing video, the bat had a big hole in the window. I mean, a big hole in the wing. And uh, I showed it up close in the Race Screws Weekend Show, if you happen to check it out last week. Blade Raider, Speed Slayer. I think Brian, I think Brian pointed it out to me if I recall correctly. Here you have the HW Digital Circuit, and this is an alternate color for Blade Raider, okay? It's not gonna have a collector number. It's not a treasure hunt, but it is an alternate color for this series. Super Chromes, there you go, nice shiny silver. Blitz Speeder, of course a track car. Here you have Rip Rod and Monta Racer. I believe those were out in the previous case. Rig Heat, mm, an odd kind of car. Truck, I should say. Flash Drive, Pile Driver. Got quite a few Super Chromes in this case. 2013 SRT Viper. Nice, simple graphics on it. Here you have HW Formula Solar. 
And we had some discussion on the wheels for HW Formula Solar. As uh, you might think they're new wheels, but they're not new wheels. I'll talk about it again in the weekend show. And now that the subjects come back up, here you have Gazella GT again in the Super Chrome series. 2013 SRT Viper. Not a very good finish on the metal. You can see the rough edge right there. Needs to be tumbled a little more, or, or they need to check their tooling. Amazon! Letter R for our car. Ice shredder. And Brazilian colors, eh? Crescendo. That's a new car. This is a new model. Now, these are international packages. On the USA, English packages, it'll say new model or something right here, 2013, 2017 new model. But uh, yeah, first appearance, first time I've seen this in person. Nice to have it appear in the Super Chrome series, nice and shiny. He, he gets a very nice release for the first one. In the old days, when they would have new models, it would be just the new model series. Now they just, can, for the last uh, mm, four or five years, they've been sprinkling the new models into all the series. Pretty cool. And the wheels are neat, too. They even chrome the wheels. I hadn't, I hadn't talked about that in this video, but they even chrome the wheels. I like it. I like that series. 70 Chevy Chevelle. I like this car, too. Not quite a track car because he's got that splitter in the front. But uh, very nice decos. Nice casting. Uh, really nice uh, decorations on this as well. 20 uh, Ford Shelby GT350R. Now, let's see what's on the bottom. If I pass the basic treasure hunt, uh, I didn't see it. So I'll be looking for your comments, or maybe we have it in the bottom. Sometimes I tease, I, I, I tease and say, oh, I didn't see it. 2017 Camaro ZL1. 2017 Camaro ZL1. Hmm, I'm not sure if this is a new model or not. There's so many Camaros, it's hard for me to remember. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look that one up. Uh, this would, these two were nice. Last case in the J case they appeared. So nice that they rolled over into the K cases. So if for some reason your area does not get the J cases, these cars are also in the K cases. So you still get a chance to pick one up. There you go. Surf and Turf. You have the Surf and Turf and the Volkswagen T2 pickup. Tool again. Mmm, 17 Ford GT. Mmm, my favorite car. I like that car. There you go. Aston Martin 177 with the pinstripes and the decos. Uh, people ask me what's my favorite car, and uh, most of you know that the Spinebuster is my favorite car, but that's my favorite fantasy car. My favorite license model is the 17 Ford GT. Yep, been finding it in the stores too, so I got me a couple extras for the pile. If you've been playing Forza, then you know about this Bone Shaker. Yeah, if it's in the uh, Forza video game. I have uh, the um, Xbox version. Custom 56 Ford truck. Again, and another rocket box. I think those two were side by side in the top too, weren't they? Hot Wheeler, this is another one of those uh, moving Hot Wheels to where when you roll it, it actually does something. His mouth moves, his mouth opens and closes when you roll him. Another Rogue, ho another rogue Hog and Rig Heat. You guys notice any errors? I think I had like four errors in the, in the last case. 96 Nissan 180SX Type X. Wow, it looks totally different with this race team graphics. Uh, wow, it cha totally changes the look of the car. Hmm, looks great, looks fantastic. It seems like it was lower though when it was in red. But here you go, 12 Ford Fiesta, another race team deco. Both of these not necessarily good for the track because they have a, this one has a low front end. Uh, of course, the 12 Ford Fiesta has a splitter, not good for the loops, and another Batmobile in pewter tour de fast 
track hammer. Hey, that's a new model. And another 68 El Camino. Kind of flat. Track hammer. Very flat, low profile. This has got to be a track car. There you go, track stars. Seems a little bit, no, it looks like there's a good width. Look how they did. There was another model. <laughs> they did it like this to where uh, it's a little odd. The, the heads, the character's heads are cast into the body. And then the body part is casted into the plastic um, interior. It's kind of it's kind of odd when you notice it, but you know it it completes the look. It looks like this might be adjustable. Mm, maybe not. I'm not sure. We'll have to find out. In track time, you can post a suggestion or two for track time. Here you go, IL driver. This is the second color. First one was red. You got this little figure comes off. He says separate piece. Blade Raider. And I was talking about how the other one, oh, now, now we're going to get confusing. Rip Rod. Okay. Now this is going to get, this is, uh, look, as, as a focal point for uh, Hot Wheels collecting, this is not helping us who are, who people know us as collectors. Because this is getting really confusing. And then now, of course, Mattel doesn't have to deal with this. It's us people who do the unboxing videos and different message boards. I lost my Blade Raider. Where'd it go? I'll have to look it up. We'll come back to that. But there's that treasure hunt right there. Circle Flame logo. I'm going to come back to this at the end of the video. Set this aside so we can keep moving along. Tesla Model X. Model X. Yep, yep. Another Force of Bone Shaker. Skull Crusher. And there's his brains. Crescendo, another sample of Crescendo. I was thinking it has that dip in the side, so it might uh, affect its track compatibility. But look how they, for the boosters, look, they have this running board here, this black part on the side. So now when the booster goes to grab this car, look at this, has a nice smooth edge right there to grab this car. This guy's got to be good in the boosters for sure. 2017 Camaro ZL1 and another Hot Weiler, like the dog Rottweiler. Cruise Bruiser in light blue. Mm, unfortunately, not a super. We have a little bit of uh, casting flaw right there in the window again. You can see it didn't get uh, burred out, buffed out. Z-Rod. He was pretty cool when he was, uh, I think, uh, chrome, right? But now that he's this color, you can definitely tell he's plastic. And I, I like this model because of the name Z-Rod. Oh, pretty creative. I'm not sure this color does it for me, though. Tesla Model X. Some of you might be saying, uh, you don't know if that car does it for you at all. Corvette C7 Z06. Wow, very nice. Very nice. Tail light decorations. Put a scuff on the blister. Tail light decorations. Headlights. Yeah, very good. Like that one. 32 Ford. Oh, yeah. Glad to see this back. And uh, second colorway, it was red first. Now it's a blue, of course. Blitz Speeder, Super Chromes. And down to the bottom. So no Super Treasure Hunt, but we did get a basic Treasure Hunt. I'm going to uh, uh, hang on. I'm going to talk about this. I'm going to talk about this in just a second, okay? And again, 96 Nissan 180 SX Type X in the Race Team Decos. D Muscle and hw formula solar okay uh i'll be right back hang on i went through all the cars put them back in the case and when i do this i double check for errors and maybe variations if i happen to notice any by the way this bone shaker not only is it awesome because it's in forza it's awesome because it's the closed roof version of the bone shaker uh, when most of the bone shakers that have been released have an open roof so that's another reason this is an awesome car to have in the collection. As far as Solar Eagle, I told Solar Eagle, Formula Solar, that's a different Hot Wheels model. I was talking about the wheels. Well, it, it's the same wheels that it had last year. And here's an English package or USA package. New for 2016, the worldwide packages. Won't, well, it's not going to say that on his because it's not new. This is when his new introduction was. 
uh, USA. We know the case codes. Internationals, uh, no case code on the package. Anyways, uh, the point of the video is this part is it has the same wheels, but we didn't, you couldn't tell that it had these honeycomb tires because they chromed the tires. The only way you can know is if you looked at the back side of the tires, if you open one up, and that's what I did in a, a, a prior video. Those are the honeycomb wheels, and you can see them right there. And they were first introduced in this line here, the Hot Wheels High Speed Racing Wheels line. They were designed for speed. I believe they called it honeycomb wheels, as a matter of fact. Yeah, right there. Inner honeycomb spike structure. So you check it out. Uh, see, you got the honeycomb tires. It's supposed to be, you know, they say it's faster. I didn't open them up because I couldn't find these in Southern California. They were sold in the Midwest mainly. Now, I did get them when they wound up at Kohl's, so I got a selection. And thankfully, I uh, got a hold of the Ford GT40. Uh, nice, nice piece. Like I told you, it's one of my favorite real cars. So I'm glad that I got this sample. And that's an expensive car to get nowadays. Last I checked, they were selling for over $90. Uh, I'm gonna have to leave. I'm gonna have to leave this guy in the package. That's just a little too much money for right now. Unless I made like a special video. So you got honeycomb tires in the front. Now most of them were skinny tires, but some of the cars had uh, wide tires in the back, and it does look like they have uh, the honeycomb design. And let's get to my last point for this case unboxing video, if you would allow me to share information. And when I'm talking about this, it makes it hard because. You know, when people have questions about Hot Wheels, they don't ask Mattel. You know, they wind up asking collectors and it winds up taking our time. And I don't have the time to answer everybody's. It's not my, <laughs> Mattel's not my company. I don't own Hot Wheels. And I'm answering all these customer service type questions. So um, now, yes, I understand. Uh, it's, mm, I decided to do what I do. But uh, Mattel, why do you do this? You know, okay, so fine. You got the Circle Flame Treasure Hunts. Circle flame logo indicating treasure hunts. You can see it behind the car. You have it on the wing. And then this year, they didn't put collector numbers uh, for the treasure hunt. Now they have this thing here, and I, I have no official information, okay? Apparently, they're calling these chase pieces. No collector number, but there, there are no treasure hunt symbol. No treasure hunt logo, you know, and no collector number, whereas, you know, See a collector number. I'll just well, let's look at the bone shaker from this case, right? You have a collector number. Got a helicopter flying over here. Anyways, um, they're calling these chase pieces, but some people are finding these two per case. If something's two per case, it's not a chase. It's not rare. It's not limited. If you like the car, buy it, enjoy it, okay? But don't buy something thinking it's a chase. I already see people on eBay selling them, saying that they're a uh, oh secret treasure hunt. Uh, you know what it is? It's just a $1 basic car and it's Blade Raider. If you like it, buy it. If, don't buy it just because you think it's a treasure hunt or you think it's going to be worth something in the future. And then let me tell you, fantasy cars, not going to be worth nothing. Hmm, this, this one, license model, hmm, this be worth something. Anyways, happy collecting and uh, I hope you didn't mind the little rant. Thanks for sticking around. Bye-bye.